Briar Christmas is here. I've got a few goodies from the Black Friday sale. I have a couple ponies. I have some Briar from Christmas's past. And I have a handful of the Merry and Bright blind bags. I think first I'm gonna get into this little guy. This is the very first Christmas pony. This bay pony was released in 2019 as the first pony for Christmas in a gift box with a blanket, but he didn't get a name. The black and gold blanket trim has some rainbow sparkle and a big red bow. The pony is a deep red bay with dapples and four socks and this white patch behind his withers, loads of dark mane, a cute teeny star. I might call him Figgy. I'm gonna get into my Black Friday box. I really love this little mold. This guy's got good shading, good spots, nice little eye whites. He's only had two releases in realistic color so far, so I just had to get this guy. I really like him. This is a little collect a animal and we'll get to him in just a minute. These little blankets are sold gambler's choice style, so the design you get is a surprise. And I got the woodland one, a little tag down here. It's kind of soft inside. Velcro closure. It's got deer and berries and pine, snowflakes. This nice green trim. Yeah, it's really cute. So I really had to get one of these little guys. Oh. Because once upon a time, when I was in high school, I was not getting very good grades. And I asked my mom for a chameleon. I begged for a chameleon. And she said, if you get good grades, you can have one. So I turned my grades around like pronto and I started learning everything I could about chameleons. So I went to the pet store and I saw this little teenage bearded dragon that nobody else had bought when he was a new baby. And he was really grumpy because they go through this irritable teenage phase. And I chose him, I picked him, I got him instead of a chameleon. I had him for 17 years and then he passed away. So I had to get one of these little guys. I love that the belly markings are so accurate. He's a little squishy and soft, but I imagine that's for safe play. He's a little more like a horny toad. <laughs> He's just teeny. He's still really cute. He's kind of doing the, the pancake thing they do when they puff up their bellies. A couple more Merry and Bright blind bags. A new Mini Winnie. And this is another Johan. I'm gonna save him for another video. A Series 3 blind bag, sheet of stickers. One more of the new Mini Winnies. And let's open up this pony. Oh. She's cute. Cole is the 2022 Pony for Christmas, and she came with a red trim, striped blanket, and alternating red, white, and green ties in her braids. She's even got a green one in her tail. Under her blanket is a pearly black coat with some blue undertones, socks and stockings, a wide blaze and a pink nose, cute big eyes, a green tie to match her tail. I'm glad I got one of her. She's really sweet. 
This fun set popped up for a really good deal as I buy it now and the box is in really rough shape and some of the pieces are loose but I'm so excited that I was able to grab it. It plays music. It should play music. This is little Santa. Oh, so small. Let's see if he works. I wish Briar would offer another holiday wagon set. The detailing on this one is really nice. It came with a stack of presents. Santa seems to be missing his mustache, but he's still very jolly. And the stable mate is so pretty. She's a light dappled gray on the Pasofino, and I just love her. She even has a dorsal stripe. Okay, I think I'm gonna save the regular run blind bags for my blind bag day. And we are on to the Merry and Bright. Number one. A twist! He's beautiful! Wow! This one is stunning. I love the mix of pink and purple with gold. Initially I thought these white splashes were going to be the points of snowflakes, which would have been really neat for holiday stable mates, but I think they're just intricate whites. I love this white over his nose and mouth and his pretty gold hooves. He's probably my favorite in the set. Number two. The Django. He is lovely too. If Django's blanket were a big snowflake, that would be really neat. He's super blue with some purple interference, a little star, and some nice darks in his eyes and over his mouth. Number three. Oh. <laughs> Such good luck so far. I'm so happy. Murado has some rich pink and purple interference and I like the splash that covers his legs and belly. Cute long socks up front and this creative splash under his jaw. Little peach nose. He's really nice too. Number four. <gasps> no way! Oh. oh, I'm so, so happy. That's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Corbin's this blue green overall pinto with some blue interference, but it's only on his colored areas, as far as I can tell. I like the mix of two colors, especially in his tail. And I like this mold a lot, so I'm happy I got one of him. I'm so happy. And number five, the Django. All this stuff is so fun. I'm so happy. I love everything. It's all amazing. I have more unboxings to come. Thanks so much for watching. 
I'll see you next time.